In this video, we're looking at finding the approximate surface area of this composite solid. As we look at this composite solid, it's made up of a square pyramid and a square prism. We know it's a square prism, um, or the base is a square, because we see two adjacent side, sides that are 10. Now we are making the assumption that these are right angles. We should probably have that drawn there in our diagram. And when we're working with finding the lab or the surface area of a composite solid, it's best to work with finding your lateral areas and adding them together and adding the number of bases that you need instead of working with the total surface areas and making sure you subtract the correct number of bases. So we're going to map out our plan. So we have our total surface area. We have the lateral area of a cone plus the lateral area of a prism. And then there's just one base right at the very bottom there with the square that I have highlighted there. And so when we we call our formulas for the lateral area of a cone, that's one half PL. The lateral area of a perimeter is PH. And then here we're going to have our area of our square for our base. So we're mapping out a plan. It's really important to do that to help you stay organized. So we're going to substitute in what we know, and it's also going to help us identify what we need to find. So we start out here with our perimeter of our base. So our perimeter of our base is 4 times 10, which is 40 units. And so we'll put in our 40. Actually, it would be 40 yards since we're actually given our units there. So it's 40 yards. The slant height, we do not know yet. And so when we look here, we have the lateral edge of our pyramid. Our slant height of our pyramid would be the height of that lateral face. And when we do that, that's going to bisect this segment here. So I'm going to pull out that triangle. Let's just call this triangle B, C, D, E. And so if we pull out that triangle, B, C, and then we have point E as that midpoint, and D. We can see B, D here is 13. C, D is going to be um, 10 because our sides of our prism, those are going to be equal to each other. And um, we know that point E bisects that. So each of these segments here are going to be 5, and we're looking for segment BE, which is our slant height. Now hopefully you recognize this is a Pythagorean triple, a 5, 12, 13 triangle. If you don't, you would be using the Pythagorean theorem of 5 squared plus L squared equals 13 squared. And when you solve that, you get L squared to equal 144, so L here equals 12. If you recognize that it is a Pythagorean triple, you can right away put L as 12. So we can put that in our formula there in our plan. Now, we can put in our perimeter of our base of our, of our prism. So that's going to be 40. The height of the prism, that's the distance between our two bases. So that's our 14. And then our area of our square is side squared. So we're going to have 10 squared. And so now we just do our arithmetic to solve this. 40 times 12 divided by 2, or multiplied by 1 half, gives us 240. 40 times 14 will give us 560. 10 squared is 100. And when we add that all up, we get 900 yards squared. That would be our total surface area of this composite solid.